My name is Jock Murphy. I'm the Collection Services Manager here at the State Library of Victoria. I'm going to tell you about the diaries kept by Joseph Jenkins, who was also known as the Welsh Swagman. The particularly remarkable thing about the diary is that it provides an account of a casual and itinerant agricultural labourer who came to Victoria in 1869 and lived here until 1894 who was working in central Victoria, particularly in the areas around Malden, Castlemaine and Ballarat. The diary provides a detailed account of a life that's often poorly recorded. Most of the people who worked as farm labourers or in other unskilled jobs didn't have the literacy skills to write even a letter, let alone a detailed day-by-day -day diary. The diaries themselves are quite remarkable. This is an example of one of his homemade diaries. Here you can see where it suffered damage at some time in the past. A rat or a mouse or a possum has nibbled at the binding. On at least one occasion, Jenkins' hut was broken into and the diaries were scattered around on the ground outside the hut. And this is an example of one of his diaries that sadly has become very wet at one time in its past and therefore suffered mould damage. Some diaries, like this example, were manufactured diaries, which he would have bought in a shop. That's for 1874. This last example is another handmade volume created by Joseph. And as you can see, it has a canvas wrapper around it. One of the things that excites people about the diaries is that researchers today can often find references to properties owned or operated by their forebears and if we look at this example of a diary each page has a note which records the property that Joseph Jenkins was working on and where it was. Here we see Victoria Hotel, Coghills Creek, Victoria the day before he was at Mr Hawkins' hut, wherever that was. Here we have Glendinning Farm at Kingston, which is near Ballarat.